Hello, everybody, and welcome. No. <laughs> what we saying? Hello, everybody, and welcome to day 14, 15, and 16. You're right, guys. Uh, yeah, this is day 14, 15, and 16, all in one video, because, I don't know, it's good to get things together that are similar, and, you know, we can share them, and we can also yeah. say, hey, this is all Rick, but this is They'll also morose and deficient, as you'll soon see. Yeah, just sharing it all for you. We're, just, we're sharing it. You, you share it yeah. too. <laughs> please. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Hey, Andrew said please. Better do it now. <laughs> so, last week, we did a similar thing with the congenital myopathies. This is the congenital muscular dystrophies. Don't confuse them. Do not confuse them. Congenital muscular dystrophy is a condition that uh, is a form of muscular dystrophy that a lot of people that we know and have known have had, isn't it? Uh our great friend Solomon, who was there with us at the beginning of Muscle Owl, uh, Solomon Khan, who he you know he has morose and deficient uh, congenital, which you'll see in a second. Uh, I, our great friend Steve Way as well, he has Ulrich congenital, and uh, Sarah Tipping as well, been on many of the episodes that we have. Lots of our friends, lots of our friends. So we thought today we'd jump into this and talk about congenital muscular dystrophy as a whole and then look at two additional forms of congenital muscular dystrophy Ulrich congenital and morosin deficient congenital sound complicated don't worry Andrew's gonna simplify it all down for us absolutely yeah <laughs> so congenital muscular dystrophy refers to a group of muscular dystrophies that become apparent at or near birth congenital muscular dystrophy or CMD, results in overall muscle weakness, with possible joint stiffness or looseness. Depending on the type, which we'll go into in a minute, it may involve spinal curvature, respiratory insufficiency, learning disabilities, eye defects, or even seizures. It is caused by genetic mutations, which affect some of the proteins necessary for muscles, and sometimes for the eyes and or brain. It has onset at or near birth, and progression varies with type. Many types are slowly progressive, some shorten lifespan. Awesome, so that is congenital muscular dystrophy as a whole. Andrew, tell us something about morosin deficient congenital. So morosin deficient congenital muscular dystrophy, or MDC1A, is one of the subtypes of congenital muscular dystrophy. The gene responsible for causing it was the first gene identified that causes congenital muscular dystrophy. This gene is called LAMA2 and carries the genetic information required to produce the laminin-2 protein. This is the key component of the muscle protein called merosin. Children born with merosin deficient often have hypertonia, may have reduced movements or contractures, which is tightness of the joints. They may have this in the hips, knees and elbows. Fantastic. See? It's not as complicated as it first seems. Uh, so hopefully, we'll keep it equally simple, talking about Ulrich congenital muscular dystrophy. Yeah, bring it up. So Ulrich congenital is a form with specific features. The joints of the hand and feet have bendiness or hyperlaxity, while the elbows, hips and knee joints have contractures or tightness, respiratory muscle weakness and insufficiency develops over time with a need for nighttime non-invasive ventilation by the mid-teenage years. For the gene geeks of you out there, there are three genes responsible for Ulrich congenital called COL6A1, COL6A2 and COL6A3. And as you may have guessed, they carried a genetic blueprint used to produce the protein called collagen 6. Ah, <sighs> fantastic. See, we got through three different, well, Congenital as a whole, and then two different types of congenital muscular dystrophy. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this one. We're going to uh, we're going to go and chill out, Christmas yeah. Christmas style. In fact, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Come in, something's happening. Uh, it's it's a half-eaten chocolate Santa, but we noticed we've not had chocolate for 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 a, for a while. So no. <laughs> Too early, isn't it? Sure. <laughs> too early! It's never too early for chocolate. Hey, you see the lights yeah, outside, maybe not. Hey? This isn't a late night recording as usual. Yeah, there we go. We've got our chocolate resource or chocolate sauce. Chocolate, not chocolate sauce. What am I talking about? Our source <laughs> of chocolate. There we yeah, go. Yeah, that's what it means. <laughs> 
Uh, at their end. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all again soon. See you soon.